this is Sarah with Sunflower Cottage Crochet. Welcome back to Stitch of the Week where we learn a new stitch each week. This week's stitch tutorial is about the staggered double crochet pairs. I don't come up with these names folks but I also wouldn't know what to call it so I guess that's just as well. <laughs> so this is worked by using a double crochet two together technique but paired. And the first row is not the repeat row, it is just a setup row. Your stitch multiple for your chain is going to be any odd number plus three. And the chain three counts as a double crochet. You're going to end each row with either a chain three or a double, well, start each row with a chain three and end with a double crochet on the turning chain from the previous row. This stitch is a nice mesh type stitch, but it is a very thick mesh that is quite sturdy, but it still has plenty of give to it. Good stretch, but it's not going to stretch so far that things are going to start falling out of, say, a market bag if you use it for that. Um, speaking of market bags, we have one available on the blog that goes with this particular stitch. We try to include a pattern or two with each new stitch of the week that we have, so be sure to check the blog out, sunflowercottagecrochet.com. It does appear that this stitch has a V shape to it. However, that's actually two stitches. It's just where they paired up. This is the stitch. It's an upside down V, but it make, makes it look like it's a V stitch. So it's almost like a zigzag, rickrack, whatever you want to call it, design. In two colors, this is what it looks like. And this is actually just one row of the green. It looks like two, doesn't it? I really like this gray and green contrast and I, I really like the way it looks changing colors every row. To get started, <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a chain of 18, so 15 plus 3, 18. You're going to start out by doing a double crochet decrease or double crochet two together in the fourth and fifth chains from the hook. So count back four, one, two, three, four. I'm just going to go right into the side. I tried to do this earlier in the back hump. My nervous hand said, nope. So you're going to start a double crochet, but stop when you have two loops still on your hook. Yarn over and go into the next stitch. That would be the fifth one from the chain. Yarn over and pull through two only. Now you have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. Chain one. Make sure my yarn is not gonna pull me too tight. So now we're going to do the same thing over the next two stitches and the chain one between each stitch keeps the stitch count so that we don't end up with a slanted project. So we're just going to go right into the next stitch and start a double crochet and hold it. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and hold it. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Chain one. Yarn over, go into the next chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, hold it, yarn over, go into the next chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Chain one. Again, yarn over, go into the next chain, pull through two loops and hold it, yarn over, go into the next chain, pull through two loops and hold it, then yarn over and pull through all three loops, chain one. Yarn over, go into the next stitch or chain, pull up a loop, hold it, yarn over, go into the next loop or chain rather and pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three, chain one. So you're just going to work these double crochet decreases all the way down your chain, making sure to chain one 
in between each cluster, we're going to call them decreased clusters, that you do. Now when you get to the end, I know you're going to freak out because you have three chains left. And here I have worked the last of the last three, the first two, to do my decrease and chain one. Remember when I said at the beginning and end of each row, you're going to have a standalone stitch. So you're either going to have a chain three or a double crochet. So in the very last stitch, you just do a double crochet. And then you're going to chain three and turn. So here's where the actual repeat of the pattern begins. You're going to yarn over and we're going to work right into these chain one spaces instead of into the stitch itself. So go right into that very first chain one space and start your double crochet two together decrease. Then yarn over and go into the next chain one space, pull through two, so you have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all three, chain one. Always remember to chain one after you do your decrease stitch. Now here's where the pairing comes in. You're going to yarn over and go right back into that same stitch and pull through two and hold it. Then you're going to yarn over and go into the next chain one space, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through all three. Chain one. And you're going to yarn over, insert into that same chain one space you just worked in and pull through two and hold it. Yarn over, go into the next chain one space, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through all three. Chain one. Go into that same stitch and start your decrease. Go into the next chain one space, start another decrease, then pull through all the loops and chain one. You're going to do this all the way down and I'll show you how to finish out the row in just a couple of stitches here. Okay, so here we are at the end. I have a cluster, this chain one space, and the space between the chain three and the last cluster. So how you work that is by going back into that same stitch, just like normal, and starting your decrease. Then yarning over and going right between the last cluster and the final chain three turning chain and completing your decrease there. Chain one, and we're not done. And I like to pop that over. And now you're just gonna work a double crochet into the top of that chain three. I try to get two loops when I do that, doesn't always work. That time I got lucky. So here is what it looks like so far. You've got your setup row, and then you've got the actual paired row. So because this is kind of hard to see um, using just one color, I'm going to show you how to change colors with this pattern now. So I'm going to take out that final DC because I use a nice little technique to change colors at the end of a row or at any point really. So you're going to go just like normal, only stop there don't finish the stitch out yet i'm actually going to cut the yarn so it doesn't tug and pull on me leaving enough to you know kind of work with and i'm grabbing white to do my contrast color with and i'm just going to make a loop right around my finger i'm not going to tie any knots I'm going to give myself a little bit of a tail to work with to weave in later. So I like to kind of pull it a little tight there, not too tight, and grab, hold on to these two loops. And then I'm going to put that loop right over my hook with the new color and just pull it right through those two loops to finish off the double crochet. And then I just kind of pull strings a little bit to tighten it up. I'm not going to tie it. I'm not going to knot it. I will weave in the ends later and it will make it plenty tight. 
Now you chain three to turn. Okay, so we're going to yarn over and go right into that first chain one space, pull through two, hold it, yarn over, go into the next chain one space, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and chain one. Yarn over, go into that same chain one space, pull through two, yarn over, go into the next chain one space, pull through two, yarn over and pull through all three. Chain one. Yarn over, go into that same stitch, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the next chain one space, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three, chain one. Yarn over, insert into that same chain one space and pull through two, Yarn over into the next chain one space, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through all three. Chain one. Yarn over, insert into that same chain one space and pull through two. Yarn over, insert into the next chain one and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through all three. Chain one. Complete the row just as we have been. And once again, I'm at the end. So I will refresh your memory. We're going to continue as we have been by starting out in the same stitch you just worked and then going between the last cluster and the chain three space or the chain three turning chain and completing our final staggered pair. And again, I kind of like to pop it over chain one, always chain one after you do the, your staggered pair. And then we're just going to double crochet right into the top of that chain three and complete a regular double crochet. So now you can see much better how these rows look when you separate it every row with a new color. So we'll do one last row. I will snip off the white. Pull part of that stitch out so I can change the color, just like I showed you earlier. Just going to pull that blue right through the white to finish it off and pull these kind of tight. And then chain three and turn. All right. So again, we work into the chain one spaces. So I'm going to yarn over and start out in that first chain one space and do my staggered pair stitch. Chain one. Start out in the same one I just finished in. Do my staggered pair stitch. Chain one. Same thing. Always remembering to chain one. It actually has a pretty nice rhythm. It works very easily. You can use any yarn and any hook. I think this particular stitch pattern makes a great anything. And I like that it has a nice softness to it. Okay. Now, do you remember what we got to do at the end? We got to work a double crochet. Whoops, chain one first. <laughs> Preaching it this whole time. And then I go into sort of like the bend, go into that chain three, turning chain, and do a double crochet. So there you have a better view of how this stitch looks. I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you. If you liked it, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon if you would like to be notified of all of our future videos. Thanks for joining. We'll see you later.